Okay, a couple of things before we start. My puppy is under my feet. You guys might hear him be bopping around down there. This is my microphone. Do you hear his tail? I don't even know if you guys can hear that. Cash, get down. What are you doing? Hi. Look, you want to tell everybody hi? There's the puppers. There's the puppers. Okay, can you get down? You literally haven't bugged me until I started the video. So there's that. Um, I was being too lazy and I didn't want to put my microphone on a stand in front of me. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to hold it. And the third thing I want to say, I have my heater on behind me. You guys might hear that. I don't know if this mic is going to pick it up or not. But I have the heater on behind me and I don't want to shut it off. And I know that sometimes when you're watching a video, those things are really, really annoying. But I'm cold and I don't want to sit here with like, you know, my Snuggie on or anything. I just want to be warm and toasty in my office and not shut my heater off. So those are a couple of things going into this video. But for this video, I am going to be organizing my December daily stuff. I am like really, really stoked for this. I'm so excited for December daily to start. If you're like, Ashley, what the heck is December daily? That is a like a memory keeping thing that Allie Edwards created a few years ago. Cash, get out of there. Um, that Allie Edwards created a few years ago and I actually just learned about it here at like the beginning of October so I've been getting some supplies in for December daily and I'm really excited to start it but what I needed to do was get everything organized so whenever I'm sitting down to document the memories throughout December I have everything together and it's, it makes things a little bit quicker and also I'm going to create a fun little series so we're going to have um, there'll be a playlist up on my YouTube, but it's going to be like the organization aspect of things. I'll be creating foundational pages. If I decide to do a, a little bit of digital memory keeping, I'll share that with you guys too. And then I'll also film me creating the December daily pages. Maybe not all of them, but I will dis uh, I will film the vast majority of them. So that's the fun things are coming up. This video is the organization part of this where I'm going to start organizing everything. And I kind of walk you guys through my thought process and why organizing things were such a struggle and just kind of talk about it and go over all of the details. So let's dive in and I'll walk you through some of the items that I got for December daily and how I'm going to get those organized. Okay, let's go through some of the things that I picked up. Mainly I got most of the stuff for December Daily from Allie Edwards. I did pick up a few things from Heidi Swap as well that I'm gonna use inside of December Daily. But I have these ink sets from Allie Edwards and I thought that the colors on here are good for not only December Daily, but also for fall. Sorry, that bag was probably really loud. But I like them, like see those would be perfect for fall. We've got the nice red and green for Christmas. I think that might be a darker McKenzie. So Redwoods, um, Otter Rock, I think that one is black. This looks like it's a really dark green. So I have some ink sets here. Honestly, with the ink sets, I'll probably just put those in the drawer with the rest of my inks just so I can keep all of it together. So we'll set those over there. The thing that I love about Allie Edwards stuff is that, like this one for example, this is a kit, a December daily kit. This might have been, I don't remember if this is a new kit or if this is the one from 2019. So I did get some stuff from previous kits, so I honestly can't remember what, um, pay, this is the Paisley Press kit. Does it, anything have a year on it? Mm, I cannot remember. I'll link to her website down below. Um, she actually has on her website, there's a thing specific for December Daily. So you can shop just December Daily items if you guys want to check this stuff out. But these are cardstock sheets. We have journaling cards, chipboard, or no, these ones are like puffy stickers. But they're not like, do you guys remember back in the day scrapbooking how they used to have giant puffy stickers? These aren't like super, super thick. I mean, you guys can see. Um, chipboard pieces, some stickers, and then some ephemera, I think is how you say that. Just some cute little decorative elements. And here's my problem. So for example, this one comes in this really cute little bag. There's a part of me that wants to keep the kits together, but then there's also a part of me that wants to take all of my December daily items that I have and put them inside of like one storage container or a couple of storage containers. So then I'm not trying to pull out tons of bags and different things. So 
as we go through this stuff, I'll kind of start to decide. I think I have some ideas rolling through my head, but this is one kit that I have. I did grab another kit from her. This isn't for technically for December daily. You can use it for whatever, but um, this is just one of our story keeping kits that she has. Like, look at that. Like how perfect is that packaging? It's all right there together. And all you have to do is unloop it and you have everything inside of one. So that's where a part of me wants to keep some of the December daily stuff packaged up like it is. But this one's a whole different kit. So we'll just set it off to the side for now. So there's this kit. I got a couple of different types of journaling cards. We have some giant uh, foiled letters, um, some letter stickers. These ones have some like silver glitter on them, some chipboard stuff, this really cute stamp. Like I've been into stamping you guys recently and I absolutely love it. I did pick up a couple of these bags. Not sure if I'll use these ones for December daily or not, but I have these ones. And then I also accidentally got two of these kits, two of these <laughs> sets of bags. I think I had uh, meant to take one of them off, but that's okay. I'll end up using them anyways. They're really, really cute. So we might use some of those to store some of this stuff. These have cardstock in them. What I was thinking actually is the cardstock, all of the cardstock that I have for December Daily would fit perfectly inside of this bigger plastic case. Do you see what I mean? So I was thinking maybe I would do that, but I don't know yet. I did get some more inserts for the binders, so I would have options. This is a fun little kit. This is like, I don't know what the kit is called, but it's stars for December. I'm definitely making a shaker pack out of these. I actually bought some shaker packs. I'll show you. They're really, really cute. Um, some different little stars, felt pieces, just some cute little things, puppy stickers. And see like all of these, I wouldn't mind splitting these up because these are just stars. Really, you could use these any time of the year, not just for December daily, but there's those. Um, I showed you those things. We've got the kit. We got some more, I think it's called ephemera. Maybe I'm saying that wrong or maybe that's not what this is at all. Again, I'm new to this, so if I mispronounce things or I don't say things the right way or things are not called when I'm saying them, please do not care in me in the comments, okay? I am learning, I will get this figured out, but for right now in the beginning stages, I may say things incorrectly. So I have these, these are just some fun little die cut shapes. Here's the little shaker packs. Like, aren't those so cute? And they're red, white, and blue, I believe. Or maybe not. Let's actually open them real quick. Like, look at these little shaker tags. Aren't those the cutest little things ever? Like, I literally cannot wait to use those. I love them. Those would look really, really cute for um, memory keeping the 4th of July as well. So there's those. I have some more little tags. This little box. Um, first, here's some more little die cut pieces. This little box is super cute. So this one, you just take this little band off. And then the box opens up and I believe this is a whole little kit as well. Like look at how cute this is. So there's a part of me that wants to keep all of this stuff together. Those are really cute. Little stockings, we've got some hearts, stars, some more hearts, little houses. And then there's like journaling cards and some stickers and stuff down in here as well. Some number stickers, these cute little tags, little pocket folders, I mean. Just really cute things in there. So I like the idea that all of this stuff is together. But then what I'm really afraid of is that once I start December daily, I won't be using most of the things that I have because it's all so scattered. Does that make sense? Um, these are some cute little insert cards. I don't know if it's just like cards that you can stick in there um, or if the back has like some of them might be journaling cards. I'm not really for sure. I haven't opened it yet. And then I also picked up a red binder. I think, what size did I get? I don't remember. Hold on, let's see if this tells me the sizes. Now, is this a nine by 12 or an eight by 10? I think it might be an eight by 10. I'm not, I don't even remember if I'm being honest, but this is the one that I picked up. It's red, so I thought this would be perfect for Christmas, for documenting memories of Christmas. And then I also picked up a black one. I really like this one. This will just be for general memory keeping 
for my family. So um, when you buy these from Allie Edwards, they do come with some sheets already in there. But like I said, I got some more, so I have other options that I can add to it. So there's most of the things that I got from Allie Edwards. And then I also picked up a few things from Heidi Swap, like I said. So let me move some stuff. I love this stamp from Heidi Swap. This is super cute. So it's definitions, Christmas definitions. Like I absolutely love that. We have puffy stickers, some photo corners. There's some different ephemera and die cuts in here. Um, a pack of stickers. This is a pack of cardstock. And I love Heidi Swap's cardstock. So I actually ordered two of those because I did create the haunted mansion for Halloween that she had. And I wish I would have gotten more of her cardstock because I really do like it. And then there's also this little memory keeper that I picked up from her. Not sure if I'll use it, but I might, we'll see. And then I do have these die cuts and stamps as well, a little set that I picked up. So those are the things that I have for December daily. Okay, I got a phone call, so I don't know where exactly that that cut out at. I think I've showed almost everything. I also have this from Allie Edwards, December daily. This is the advent calendar, so it slides out. And then inside of um, each one of these is a little thing, and there's some stuff in there. Let's just take a little sneak peek into day one. What's in here? Aw, oh, what fun. It's a little sticker. That's going to be fun to open up. I might even put these on a board or something. That would be really cute. So anyways, we have the advent calendar. Um, what I'll probably do with these things is open them up and maybe base my memory keeping spread for that day off of the things in these, this advent calendar. I think that would be really fun. Okay, so organization. Let's dive into this. I had picked up a couple of boxes. Um, from I or um, Hobby Lobby. Let me grab them. So I have this one. This is one of those little containers that the lid pops open and then inside of here it's got like the dividers that you can put in there and separate everything out. So I thought about separating all of the little pieces out into this but this one's kind of large. It would definitely give me room to grow but there's things that I wouldn't be able to fit inside of here. Like I could definitely pop all the chipboard pieces out and keep those in one. Um, just letters like those big letters that are back here those would definitely fit down inside of one of the little compartments or two compartments anyways so i have this one and then i also grabbed this container because it's a little bit bigger but this one is just going to be too big for what i'm trying to do let me i can't even open it up underneath the ring light so see like this one i could do different little things inside of there but like for example, journaling cards would fit in here. If I could find some. Where did the journaling cards go? Here they are. So like the journaling cards will fit in here great, but some of these larger ones, it won't go in that way. And it's also too, the container's too small for it to stand up in there. So I have those two, but then I also thought where I'm just getting started with everything, maybe it, it's okay to keep everything separated somehow. So I have these other containers that I picked up at Ikea. And I'm really excited for these because with these ones, I'll be able to stack these on my shelves and it'll keep everything organized and then I can just label everything for now. So there's a, um, a little container where I could just kind of stick things down inside of here. Everything's together, but also in their own little individual bags, right? And then put the lid on it. And the cool thing is, is they stack up. So like, here's another one. Oh, I had some stuff in here because I was trying this out. Ah, here's some more tags. Look at these, you guys. Aren't those cute? Those are little stitched with little tags in there. We've got some little window picture frames and then some insert cards. But like, see, all of those could set inside of there and I could take a couple of these and stack them up for now. And then like the bigger stuff, like the cardstock, keep all of it inside of one of these little containers. So I think that might be what I do or at least try it out. So I'm gonna give that a go. Let's put everything in there and see if it fits in a couple of these containers. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach with
Here's what I have so far. So I ended up using three of those containers. This one's the one that just has that kit in there because it didn't really fit in with the other ones. This box has all of the like little embellishments and washi tape and stuff. And then the bottom one's the one that has the journaling cards and um, little inserts and things like that. So those three are all there together. And like I said, I did end up sticking all of the extra paper inside of this one. I'm not ready to start using this binder and start regular memory keeping yet because I want to focus on December daily. And then I'm also, I'll walk over here and show you really quickly. I'm also working on memory keeping for my son for Cub Scouts. So I haven't made it made much progress in this since I uh, showed it last, but I started to kind of do a fun little thing for him for Cub Scouts. So I did this cute little page here for their uh, camp out that they did for Cub Scouts and stuff. So those are my two things that I'm focusing on right now is December Daily and Cub Scouts. So I don't care to have that binder be the one that holds the extra pages. I'm going to leave the advent calendar here and I'm also going to leave this one together because this box is super cute. Like how fun is that? And it sets right there and then I'll set this one on there. We'll put it on the shelf here in just a second. And then paper. Um, I'll show you where I'm going to stick this stuff. And then the other thing too I thought about after I got started, I do have this clear, clear acrylic uh, container. And if I realize that all of these isn't working for me as far as like when I start doing this, I might flip everything over and have it all inside of here. Because I think everything except for the paper will fit just fine inside of here. So I might end up doing that as well. This little kit is just... A regular memory keeping kit so it's actually going to set up here for now I have another one of her um, I think that's the week in the life kit and then this is a storytellers kit so I have those two there and I'll just leave those ones there for now but I've got those plastic things stuck around here let's throw those over there okay so for now um, I've 
If you see the floor is dirty, I haven't swept in here yet. I did uh, do a little crafting earlier and it got a little messy, but here's what we're gonna do for now. We are going to walk over here first. Sorry if it's making you sick. I'm gonna move this container here into this empty slot right there. And then I'll use that one for December daily stuff. But first, we have to wipe it out. Just a quick little dusting. Okay. And then we'll put these containers in. Sorry if this is making you sick. Just close your eyes for a second. <laughs> and if you guys are watching my series on me updating my office, you'll know why things are a little bit wonky right now. So all of this could change in the near future depending on when I get my office makeover complete. So there's those, a little stacked up, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna take this Let's see, I need this thing of the paper, this binder, and then what did I do with the red one? So this binder here, I'm actually just going to stick it up here on this shelf, like so. And then since it's not technically for December daily, but then I'll stick the, the paper there and then the red binder that is for December daily can slide right in there. And so there, everything's a little bit organized. Um, I thought about labeling these, making some labels with my Cricut and sticking them on there, but I'm not going to just yet because like I said, I might not stick with this little organization system. I might end up using the clear bins because I really do like the way that these are looking and I've been using them lately. So these come from TJ Maxx, I do believe. The bad thing about buying clear bins at TJ Maxx is whenever you want more, it's a hit or a miss whether you're going to find the same ones. So if you're wanting something like this, you can look there. But I do recommend maybe checking out the container store so then you're able to get more if you need more. But I also love Ikea. I love Ikea's bins. These are from Ikea. I have the small ones. Like I really do enjoy those and I do recommend them. And then for the stamps, I'm actually just going to leave these with all my other stamps. And we'll just keep them together so these will go inside of here with my stamps and it's got my uh, acrylic block is in there somewhere right there so all of my stamps are together and then last but certainly not least I will put this up and I have this thing too so actually let's see something really quickly we're gonna spin back around inside of this pink binder this is actually the folder from Heidi Swap and like I said I, this is initially how I was going to do my memory keeping but I decided to change but I do have these I'm not going to get rid of them but they're different little folders and this is how you store them so there's these little rods inside of here and they go inside of the book like so and then you can store multiple books on here may end up going back to this system i don't know i just like i said i only thing i'm using them for right now is cub scouts but i think it would be cool for cub scouts to have like every year inside of one binder or two binders instead of having like a bunch of different binders so i might end up doing that this is actually not going to fit well so i'm just going to set it in there for now and then we'll set that back on the shelf and that'll at least be put up and out of the way so we'll set this back up here like so so that's in there and then spinning again I know I'm sorry let's put away the inks so this is these containers are not trash but that is my trash can and I couldn't put these in the trash can where I had my containers on there I will clean those up I promise if you're like me and you're watching this you're stressed right now because you're like get the trash off the floor I hear you, my friend. I really, really do. So, we're going to put the Allie Edwards ones inside of here. Boom. 
I'm going to stack some of these up back there too so they'll set a little better. So this is like my stamping drawer. So I've got my baby wipes. I've got my distressed oxide stamps. These are my archival ink ones and then the Allie Edwards. And then I have some back here that are like some, those like ink pad off brand ones that I've had forever. So boom, those are all put away. Last but not least, I have these little bags. I honestly, I'm gonna leave those out. I have some other ideas that I might use for those at a later time. So I'm just gonna leave those out for now and figure out what I'm gonna do with my leftover Halloween stuff. You're being really rude. You are, you're beating your tail off everything. You're being so rude. What, what puppers? Do you need attentions? Do you need all the attentions? Huh? Can I film a video? Oh! Can I film a video? Hmm? Your Levi will be home from school soon. Where's Levi? Where's Levi? Where's Levi? Oh, okay, all right, calm down. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.